Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross, according to 272win.com. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. People try to say that we make up our uh, statistics, we make up our states, but we list the source or we show it in every video. So click on 271.com tab. This is where we're pulling these results from. We're not faking it. We're not making it up. These are from official polling websites. So let's get into the USA Electoral College vote map. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Red Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona with 11 electoral votes according to 271.com is gray. It is a toss up. It will not be colored in. But Nevada, unlike some websites that have it as gray in a toss up, 271.com updated today and changed Nevada from gray to light pink. Apparently, Trump has a lead there, according to 270win.com, giving him those sacred six electoral votes. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with five electoral votes, is light blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, with its electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. The 1st District is red for Donald J. Trump. And the 2nd District of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris, making Nebraska at large, the very top right, in E-AL, red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with 7 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is pink two clicks for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue, light blue, for Kamala Harris. Now we have Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes and Michigan with 15 electoral votes. According to 272win.com, neither state is for either candidate. Other polls, such as the Emerson College polling, have these states as more blue for Kamala Harris. But as of 270to.win.com, we're going to keep these gray. They are toss-ups and battlegrounds. They could go either way leading up to Election Day on November 5th, 2024. Iowa, with its six electoral votes, is light red, pink, two clicks for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with its 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with its eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is light pink, two clicks for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with its six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with its 30 electoral votes is pink, two clicks, for Donald J. Trump. Georgia with 16 electoral votes, according to 272win.com. Georgia is still a toss-up. They have not colored it in. Therefore, our math, which references 272win.com, will not be colored in. South Carolina, with its nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. 
North Carolina, according to 272win.com, is grayed out a toss-up battleground. Therefore, ours will not be colored in. It could go to either candidate. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is light blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes, according to 271.com, is not colored in. Therefore, we will not color it in. These two candidates have been in a deadlock tie for almost three weeks now. The rest of the states, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the like are all blue for Kamala Harris, except for Maine at large is red for Donald J. Trump, and M-E-A-L-2 is red. This gives Donald J. Trump 227, Kamala Harris 224, putting Donald J. Trump in the lead by three electoral votes. However, Arizona with its 11 electoral votes, went to Joe Biden in 2020. So add 11 to her score, but not on the map. And that would give Kamala Harris 235. Michigan, I believe Joe Biden won Michigan as well in 2020. Therefore, if we added that, that would put Kamala Harris in a huge lead over Donald J. Trump. In Wisconsin and um, Minnesota tend to be very neighborly to each other. So usually whatever... Minnesota has, Wisconsin also has, that would add another 10 to Kamala Harris, putting her way above and almost at 270 to win. So, who do you want to win, baby? Trump. And that's all she wrote. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are. Out.